Alright, so I'm gonna get right down to this tutorial. I'm doing a tutorial how to make wood textures, mainly wooden planks for this video. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up GIMP and go to File, New, and you want to type in 32 by 32. Then you want to kick it up to 800% so you can get a good view. Now we're doing wood, so pick out a good brown. This one's good, this one I used in my video. Then just click on the bucket and fill. Now once you have that, go down to dodge and burn this one right here. Scale all the way down, switch it to burn and hard edge. All you're just gonna do is you're just gonna click, drag it across like this, and make like the grain of the wooden planks. You can make as many planks as you want and the thickness as you want, but if you put this on here, let me show you that. You'll only put it on the top or the bottom. If you put it on both, you'll have this really thick, dark line that won't look good. Alright, so we got this. Now, I'm kind of sloppy, so I just actually click all the way through this. But you can also do it the way I did it in a second go, like this. By just pressing click and then shift. It leaves a dark splotch in there, which I don't like. You want to get them about an equal distance apart, so they'll transfer into the other ones. It doesn't have to be like this, to where it will um, be exactly the same on each thing. For uh, this, I'm going to. Alright. So now we got this, I'm just going to kind of touch up the edges right here. Like this. I'm going to turn it off of hard edge. Back on burn. It's right if it gets a little bit, a little bit noticeable because we'll be brightening up the section anyways in a minute. Alright, that's good for now. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Dodge, turn the opacity down a little bit, maybe to like 62, switch to Square Brush, to this one, bring the scale up a little bit, a little bit bigger than that, and we're just going to dodge the inside of each square like this. Give it kind of the 3D lit worn wood effect. Like that. Then you want to go back to burn, scale down a little bit, and you want to go around the edges of this. You may not be noticing this, but it's darkening up the edges around each line, and that really helps turn the opacity up. Just gives it more of that 3D burnt in old wood effect. Now we got that step. Now you're just gonna go over just a little bit with burn. You don't want it to be too light. Sections that are a little bit brighter, you might want to go over a little bit. Let's look at this. Now that's not that bad, you know. 400% is what it'll look like on Minecraft, about the same size as the block. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So I hope you like my tutorial. I'll bring you some more later. Thanks for watching. Bye.